Meanwhile, the first commuter has taken the stand in the public hearing into last year's disruptions. Charlene Ang told the Committee of Inquiry that she fainted when her train stalled on the 15th of December. She said there was a burning smell and some lights as well as the air conditioner were not working. There was also an update on the availability of information leaflets to commuters affected by a breakdown. This had found to be inconsistent across stations. Today, the committee heard that at least one station, Ang Mo Kyo Station, is now well prepared for this. Every station is supposed to have 1,000 bus service leaflets and 200 taxi vouchers to give out. The vouchers are for students heading to school for exams.